Jurors in the Laura Hall trial were forced to look at gruesome photographs and listen to some gory details. It's all part of the new evidence being presented in today's sentencing trial. Colt Petoniak was convicted of murdering Jennifer Kay five years ago in West Campus. Laura Hall was convicted of taking part in the dismemberment of Kay's body. But Hall's five-year prison sentence was thrown out last year after it was learned that the state had suppressed evidence. KXAN's Chris Sadegi has continuing coverage from the Travis County Criminal Justice Complex. Chris? Well, after a morning filled with DNA and autopsy evidence, things really did pick up in the afternoon when former cellmates of Laura Hall took the stand. The cellmates say, going back to conversations that took place just a month after the murder, Hall called Jennifer Cave a stripper who deserved to die and said her boyfriend was cheating on her with Cave. They say that Hall also claimed it to be her idea to mutilate the body. Hall's attorneys tried to discredit the claims by questioning why it would take five years for these cellmates to come forth. Now, for the first part of the day, most of the testimony included the talk for about the autopsy from the medical examiner who said Cave had a cluster of stab wounds and a gunshot wound that came after she had died. DNA evidence connected Hall to seven of 41 items of evidence, including the pistol, but not the machete that was taken at the apartment. Both attorneys talked about the case, the DNA, and the cellmates. It's in a high-profile case, inevitably the cockroaches crawl out from under rocks claiming that they have had a second visitation of Christ. I, it, it never surprises me. The question is, does the jury believe it? you got to look at the whole picture. But the fact is that there are items at that crime scene that she cannot be excluded from. And right now, the prosecution still calling witnesses. Their case is expected to wrap up sometime today or early tomorrow, at which point the defense will begin making their case. We're live downtown. Chris Sadegui, KXAN.